Very first thing that we gotta talk about is the actual definition of circumference. What is circumference? The circumference of a circle is the distance around the circle. The distance. Gotta make sure that I have this thing turned on. Or did I not? Okay, there we go. Circumference is just the distance around the circle. And to help us with that, we have one or two easy to use formulas, depending on how you view it. The standard formula for circumference is this. Circumference is equal to two pi r. The r stands for radius, of course. The pi is just a number on your calculator. Typically, most people shorten it down to 3.14, but it's actually a lot more than that. If you've ever watched stuff like Big Bang Theory or just heard nerds talk, um, you would realize it goes out a lot more than that. Um, but we're going to use pi this chapter quite a bit. Now, the other formula that we're going to use is actually uh, circumference equals d pi. And I want to give you this formula because it can make our work a little bit easier. Now understand the difference here between what you're seeing. One has pi and then 2r. The other one has just d and pi. One depends on radius. The other depends on diameter. I'm not trying to confuse you with these two formulas. I'm trying to actually help make it easier. So keep in mind that r is radius and d is diameter. I'm going to put that up here somewhere. I want to put it just so we have like a record of this. R is radius, D is diameter. If you want to put that somewhere down here, that's fine. If you want to put it underneath the bubble, that's fine. But we want to keep in mind what, which is which. And for this reason, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the circumference of each circle below. The newest thing that we're really going to do, in previous chapters, we've been rounding to the nearest tenth. This chapter, we're going to start to round to the nearest hundredth. For those of you who are not really familiar with uh, the, the approximate mathematics and whatnot, hundredth is more accurate than tenths, actually. The more decimal points you have, the more accurate your answer is, the more correct it is. So we're really going to start to round to the nearest hundredth. And I'm going to underline that for significance. Now, to use our formulas, we have to figure out what it is we're looking at. These problems are going to be actually easy once you figure out what's radius and what's diameter. That 12 meters is radius. I'm going to call it r. Keeping in mind that circumference is equal to, well, which formula uses r? Oh, 2 pi r. Circumference equals 2 pi r. And then all I have to do with that is plug it in. Circumference equals 2 pi, and the radius is 12. I'm trying to figure out what c is. So for the moment, c is still c. 2 is a number, pi is a number. The radius is what I'm plugging in. And this is really just multiplication all the way. It's 2 times pi times 12 for anyone who needs to see it. Now here's the neat thing about that. Because it's all multiplication, that is something that you can just do in a calculator. And that's something I'm going to encourage you to do. But we have to be careful with some of the math when it comes up, especially on this second page. But on here, most of us, uh, if you have a calculator like this or like one of my yellow calculators, that pi button is up here on the left, right where my thumb is. It's usually along the left side here. So for this, I can do 2 times pi times 24. And that will give me my answer. Now here's how we do this. Circumference is about 150.5. I'm going to write out the three digits after the decimal point. And those three digits are 7, 9, 6. Now to round to the nearest hundredths, we're looking at these two decimal points here. Basically, I'm looking at this as 150.79 with a 6 after it. And the question is, how is this 6 going to affect the 79? Will it round it up? or down. Emma, you're saying yes, it'll round it up? Exactly. So circumference is equal to 150.80 meters. Did I do something wrong? 
Yes, I did. Hold on, that's not correct. I'm sorry if you wrote that down. I was thinking to myself, that doesn't seem familiar. Let me try that again. In the calculator, I put 2 times pi times 24. That was wrong. It should be 2 times pi times 12. Ah, there we go. Sorry, let's try that again. Circumference should actually be equal to 75.398. My bad. And then we look at this 39 here. We look at those two digits and we say, will the 8 move it up? Yes, it will. So circumference is not the 150 that I previously said. It's actually 75.40 meters. My apologies. Now I want to do the exact same thing for number two, but I need you to realize that that 18 inches there, this 18, is not radius. What is that? Does anyone know? Aldo, do you know? Inches? Well, it's 18 inches, but if it's not the radius, what else could it be? It's diameter. That 18 inches is diameter, which is important because I don't have to use c equals 2 pi r. If that's the case, because I have diameter, I can say circumference equals d pi. And all I have to do then is plug that in to my formula there. So circumference is equal to d pi. Well, d is 18. And that's still multiplication. So I can go 18 times pi. Again, rounding this out, we want the three digits after the decimal. So this will be 56.548. And then we look at the first two, 54. Now, looking at this 8, is this 8 going to round the 54 up or leave it where it is? Olivia? It will round it up, exactly. So my circumference is equal to 56.55. So your exit ticket and a lot of the work that we do uh, subsequently will be, is this the radius or the diameter? And that will tell you which formula to use. So let's move this. Let's move quickly. Number three, this 2.8, is that radius or diameter? Isaac, what do you think? It's radius. Now, because it's radius, circumference equals 2 pi r. And all I have to do is plug in the 2.8. Circumference equals 2 times pi times the 2.8. If you want to put that 2.8 in parentheses, you are more than welcome to. 2 times pi times 2.8. I am getting 17.592. 17.592. If I want to round this, what is it going to round to? 17. Point what? Does it round up to 17.60? Or does it say it's 17.59? What do you think? Cole, what do you think? Does it round up or does it stay? It stays. 17.59 feet. Exactly. And just like the rest of the problems, number four, 35 kilometers. This 35 kilometers here, is that radius or is that diameter? Tiffany? It's diameter. And because it's diameter, circumference equals d pi. That makes it easier. Circumference is equal to 35 times pi, which you can do in the calculator. 35 times pi, 109.955. One oh nine point nine five 
95. I'm looking around this. This 95, does that round up or stay? Is that here? Oh. Rounds up. Because this 5 is a 5, that's going to round this up to a 96. And we get 109.96 kilometers, which is a pretty big circle if you actually think about it. A kilometer is just a little bit smaller than one mile. So that's actually a really big circle. Some of the problems that we're going to look at require us to work backwards. And yes, you will see these. First of all, find the diameter of a circle with a circumference of 65.97 meters. I want to show you this. There's two parts to this. First of all, they said find the diameter. In other words, we don't know what D equals. Find the diameter means find D. Now, the neat thing about this is the circumference of 65.97. Well, that means that C is equal to 65.97 meters. We're going to use this information, determine the formula that we need to use, and then plug it in and go. Now check it. Because of the diameter, D, we're going to use this formula. We need the formula with D, so circumference is equal to D pi. Once we know that, we're just going to plug in what we have. That's all we ever do. Do I know what D is? No, I don't. But I do know what circumference is. The circumference is 65.97, which means that's going to go in for C. So 65.97 is equal to D pi. I plug in what I know. Now, I'm going to bring the work more up and over a little bit. I'm going to bring this up and over here. 65.97 equals d pi. Now, believe it or not, this is just an equation that we're trying to solve. Imagine that the d is x, and I'm trying to get x by itself. Well, I need to get rid of the pi. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to divide both sides by pi. That way, the pi's cancel out. I will be left with diameter. Now we're still trying to round to the nearest hundredths on this, so stay with me. 65.97 divided by pi. That is something that I can do in my calculator quite easily. And the resulting number that I get is about 20.998. Ooh. Check this out. This is the first one of these that we have. We're going to see more of these. I'm looking at 20.99 with the 8. Is the 8 going to round that 99 up or leave it? See, Emma's already nodding her head. Yes, it is. It's going to round it up. Now, here's the fun part about this. When it rounds it up, that 99 is going to give us a whole nother 1. The 9 rounds up. That rounds this 9 up. So this is actually going to be 21.00. If you just want to write 21 meters, that's perfectly fine as well. The point is, because of all the 9s that I have here, because of the 99 with the 8 after it, it rounds to a whole new number, just 21. Moving to the next page. We're going to do this a couple more times. That way you become familiar with the task at hand. Again, the idea is to figure out what you know and what the problem is asking of you. Number six, find the diameter. Find the diameter. That means diameter equals we don't know what. But given that we're working with one of two formulas, that tells us which formula we need. The circumference is equal to d pi. The next part, of course, is going to be the circumference itself. They say the circumference of 37.1 centimeters. Well, if that's the case, that means that C is equal to 37.1. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that in. You pretty much have a grasp on that. 37.1 goes in for C, and that's equal, for, equal to d pi. Now what we need to do is divide by pi again. 
You can divide by pi. It's a totally reasonable thing to do. So, let's see. 37.1 divided by pi. That will be 11.809. If we're looking at the 80, that 9 is going to round 80 up to 81. So the diameter is approximately 11.81 centimeters. Some problems, like number seven, will have us go on to find the radius, not the diameter. So I'm going to move this up just a little bit. And I want to change up some of the colors I have. Okay. Looking at number seven, the problem says find the radius of a circle with a circumference of 71.6 kilometers. Same process. Find the radius. Find the radius means that we don't know what the radius is of a circle with a circumference of 71.6 kilometers. Circumference of, this part right here tells us the circumference is equal to 71.6 kilometers. So here's what I'm gonna do. First of all, we know that we're working with circumference. That was the overall topic, and that's all we've talked about today. We wanna to find radius, which means we need to recall the circumference formula that has radius. The circumference with radius is 2 pi r. Well, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did in the previous problems. We're going to take what we know and plug it in. In other words, 71.6 goes in for c, and that's equal to 2 pi r. I'm trying to solve for the r. I'll bring my work up and over here. That way we have a little more space. The step for this is actually so similar to the previous problems that you won't have a, a tough time with it. We're trying to figure out what r equals, which means I have to get r by itself, which means I need to get rid of the 2 pi. You can actually do that. You can divide by 2 pi. This is the tricky part, though. And this is something that a lot of students forget to do. I've forgotten to do it, too. When you go to put this into a calculator, you need to put parentheses around the 2 pi. If you don't put parentheses around the 2 pi, your calculator is going to do the process wrong. It's going to think it's right, though. So in order to find r, set this down. Whoop. Why does it do that? In my calculator, I'm going to put the 71.6 divided by but then I'm going to put parentheses, 2 pi parentheses. That way I actually get the correct number. If you don't divide with parentheses, you're going to get like a larger number, which is incorrect. In my calculator, I'm getting the radius to be 11.395. Well, we need to round that. 11.39 is going to round what? Does it stay at 39 or does it round up to 40? Isaac, what do you think? Does it round up or stay? It rounds up. 11.40 kilometers. And so as you can imagine, that's pretty much just going to follow with number 8. So let's get number 8 done and just say, what the heck, we're done. Find the radius of a circle with a circumference of 21.99 feet. Well, find the radius means that we don't know what the radius is. The circumference of means circumference equals 21.99. The trick, of course, is to recall the formula. And the formula that we're going to use here is the one that involves radius. So circumference equals 2 pi radius. Once again, I need to plug in what I know. C equals 21.99, so I will plug that in. 21.99 is equal to 2 pi r. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2 pi. 
as I go to put that in my calculator, I'm going to remember to put parentheses around it. That's going to stump us if we don't. So in my calculator, 21.99 divided by parentheses 2 pi. This is about 3.499. Does the 49 round up or stay where it is? Rounds out. Exactly. So the radius is equal to 3.5 feet. Does anyone have any questions?